All right, hey everyone, this is Josh at Twist Gaming. We're here live from Dice Tower Con, and we're with Ash, Ash, and Aaron. That's right. And you guys are from Elzra. Elzra. All right. I want to make sure I pronounce the name of the company right. Yeah, sure. Um, and we're here with this is Catacombs and Castles, right? That's right. All right. Uh, and this is a dexterity kind of dungeon crawlish game, from what I know. Well, Catacombs Third Edition is more of our dungeon crawl okay. type game. This is more of our team-based uh, team game, game, competitive. Okay. Yeah, type game. What he said, exactly. Yeah, competitive game. Okay. Yeah. So it's. Uh, can you switch over the board? Yeah. Please? So, Aaron, can you tell us a little bit about the game in depth? Yeah, we sure can. So, you're setting up here on the game board. There are these heavy wooden obstacles that we've just set up yeah. at the beginning here. But technically, when you're first starting to play, the players configure the board. And okay. the board is double sided. Okay. So this is the castle side of the board, and there's also the catacomb side. These walls here just serve to prevent pieces from flying off the yeah. table. Okay, And there's eight heroes included, and in this particular mode that we're showing, team mode, uh, our teams start with these health tokens. Okay. And the basic object of the game is to eliminate the other team's health. All right. okay? And we're going to do it by um, uh, executing various dexterity shots from our dexterity game system. Okay. So, rush shots, melee shots, uh, ranged attacks. Uh, in, in summary, people have uh, described this game kind of like flicking discs meets paintball. Okay. I'm moving my character, I'm hiding behind cover, and then I'm shooting my shot. Okay. You know, like in, in, a, in my range shots, for example. Okay. okay. So, let's introduce the characters. Um, we have Team Castle, and which my brother will be playing, Ash, and okay. Team Catacomb. Okay? okay. So on Team Catacomb, we have the Queen of Storms. All right. Um, we have the Marauder, and we have the Assassin. All right. And representing Team Castle, we have the Watch Commander, another robot, the Ranger. And uh, the uh, the princess, the mage princess. The art is super awesome in this. Yes, the illustrations. Uh, in fact, the entire game is uh, was done by uh, Quan Chai Moria, and our uh, our talented graphic designer is Jordan Silvestri. All right. So we got two teams here. We got the castle. That's and right. The, uh, the catacombs. catacombs. That's catacombs right. versus castle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's All right. right. So, so th these guys are fighting each other and. That, that's right. That's pretty much the theme of the game. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's okay. the theme of, of team mode. And then there's also uh, boss mode, which we won't show today, obviously, yeah. where you have either the catacomb lord or the castle lord, and you have the heroes attempting to uh, defeat those lords and their respective okay. minions. Okay? So, um, but this is the, uh, the, the fully uh, competitive mode, and okay. it supports update players. All right. We're going to play with two players. So in this particular situation, we have three heroes okay. on each team. Okay. All right. So, uh, and how many players is this? It goes up to eight. Two to eight uh, yeah, yeah okay. two to eight players in team mode. Two right. to four players in boss mode. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So, how does this work? Okay. So, we're going to get started here, and um, let's see how this is going to go. So, I'm going to start. We'll just get rolling. There's some rules about which team starts depending okay. on which side of the board. So, we're on the castle side of the board. So, it's Team Catacomb that uh, that goes team, first. Team Catacomb are invading now. Okay. But that's right. They're invading the castle. So, I have a choice now about which hero I'm going to use, okay? okay. And a good one to get started uh, with, for me, is my assassin. So, on the assassin's card, we can see that, here, uh, it's actually right here. The incorrect place, let's switch that around. On the assassin's card, he has a rush shot and then a shuriken shot. Or he can do a standard melee attack represented by that fist there, okay? Okay. So I'm going to do the first one uh, from his sequence. So I'm going to do a rush shot, which moves me in a position. Okay. And now this is where with catacombs, any of our up. games, you got to start getting up, right? Yeah. <laughs> so here we go, right? You don't never sit down for long. Uh, so now I've got to try and use my shuriken to see if I can hit. No, see? Didn't do it mm -hmm. hard enough. Okay. So at this point now, I flip the portrait card over for the assassin because he's taken his, he's turn. Taken his turn. That's right. 
And my brother is up. So I can use the claw on my robot. And oh, yeah, of course. So, <laughs> okay. uh, so that cough it up, buddy boy. All right, so this is now a health transfer. If So you're going to do a health transfer, I yep. assume, right? Yeah, I'm watching. You know, I'm just going to, I'm going to charge an ability. So that's power transfer. Yep. Okay, so he's done a okay. power, he's done a power I transfer. To, I get to now do my rush. That's right. So, so he took your health and made it yeah, I brought for it an ability. To, yeah, yeah, this okay. guy has the ability with the claw to take it for health, or he can take it for an ability because of the claw's health transfer effect. Okay. Yeah, he can do a health transfer or a power transfer. Okay. And I see there's this armor token. That doesn't mean anything. If he wanted to, he could have taken it as armor. Okay. Out. Yeah, I, uh, to keep the game moving, we're going to yeah. limit our usage early of game, the... You don't want to use armor right off the bat. No, no. makes sense. No. All right, so this range disc comes off the uh, the board, and now it's my turn to okay. go again. And I will use the queen. So her sequence is to do a fireball shot first, and then a rush shot. And that's probably not really going to do very much for me, but I'll try anyway. So let's see if I can ricochet it. No. And then she's going to do a rush shot, so that moves her out there, and her card flips over. You're up. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Randasar. Watch Commander. Um, so he does his sequences melee and then shield. Okay. So he does a melee attack, and then I place a shield on the board. Okay. okay now so it's I'm my... doing, making more of a defensive move there. All right, makes sense. So. Okay, so now I've got my robot up. Don't really have any targets. I'm going to make an attempt anyway with the claw. So that doesn't do anything. Um, that was an attack. And then I can move him out. And at this point now, all of my characters have, oh taken, have taken an action. So I'm flipping that over. So I'm going to use uh, uh, Delilah. Who Mage has Princess. A, uh, fireball and then a rush. Technically, the ice shot. But that's yeah, okay. this one. Yeah, the ice shot. Yeah. Oh, so close. Oh yeah, it was really close. Okay, so now all of our characters have taken an action. Yeah. So now they're all going to reset. Yep. So we flip all of their cards over to indicate that, and now we can go back and we can start using them now in any order again. Okay. So, um, probably going to. Head in here with my robot. So that's a hit. I'm going to take that as armor. Okay, so now he flips his armor token over. Yeah. I can show the armor token over here. So he's flipped it over, and he's got one usage left on that particular token. Yeah. Now I get to take a, a rush shot, and... Oh, uh, that was brutal. Uh, yeah, that was, that, was, uh, that was an exceedingly bad okay. shot. Um, <laughs> so my brother is eager now, to, eager now to, to, to to take advantage of that. Of course. Yeah. So how close do you have to put the attack shot from your character? Uh, it's about an inch around. Okay. It's not. It's, we don't want to. It's not too over the top, but yeah. so, uh, there is an indicator that we have. Okay. We, we do have this little ruler piece that we can that you can optionally choose to use from the punch board. If okay. You like. So I'm going to hit you with a claw. And are you taking that? Um, well, I can choose to use my armor, of course, but would you be doing that as a health transfer or power transfer? I'm going to use it as a health transfer. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to block that then. Uh, so technically, we don't really get that choice. You'd have to just um, uh, use it immediately. We're just getting a sense yeah, about how it, how it works. Yeah, just telling them how it works. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay, so then I'm going to... Uh, this guy's been used, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to push Delilah. So because he's taken an action, he doesn't have to necessarily worry about my robot so yeah. much now, right? Okay. So now, um, I think I'm probably going to use my assassin to see if I can come in here and come in from behind and hit the watch commander. Um, I'm going to take that as I'm going to use an hour token. Okay, so he's blocked that. Uh, he's blocked that shot. Okay. Okay. okay my turn. Yep. I'm going to use Delilah, and I'm going to net your assassin. So that incapacitates the assassin. So now the assassin cannot move unless he knocks him out from underneath the net. That's right. Okay. Yep. And um, so... So if he activates the assassin, can he just flick him out from under? No, he has to actually has to hit, hit him with another character. Okay. He's yeah. got he's to rescue him now. So if he... That was the only active character he had left. 
he gets to refresh his other two? Yeah. Okay. And it just goes through the cycle until the assassin is let, um, the net's taken off. Okay. So I'm going to use my Queen of Storms. And I was able to rescue my assassin with my Queen's Fireball shot. Yep. That comes off. Assassin is there. And then I can use my Rush shot to move my Queen. But then that also forces him to have to take an, an unnecessary yeah. action, right? Correct. So my turn? Yep, you got your last one, your watch commander. I'm going to do a uh, melee. Yep. And then I'm going to place my, uh, my shield. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so then I've got to decide so how I... You don't I'm do any damage when you do that? I did, uh, he's deciding. You did, he's I'm just deciding whether I'm going to use my armor or not. Uh, I'll let you, uh, I'll, I'll let you take it. So that's a melee shot, so it's power transfer. So now he's going to use that to power up one of his ability cards. And I'm so going to power just show up what that looks like. So there's loose arrows there, and there's one of the tokens that's on top of it. Okay, so now we're resetting again. And I'm up, and in trouble as usual, when I'm playing against my brother. <laughs> so, alright, um, let's see. Right, well an obvious one here is to use the claw against the ranger. And I'm going to use an armor token. So you're out of armor now, right? Yep, for that guy. Okay, yeah. so the, his, his robot doesn't get any more armor. And I've moved down there. Mm -hmm. Flip the card over. Your turn. Okay, so claw. Claw, uh, yeah. And I'm going to do a health transfer. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll block that. So now his armor is done. Okay. That's a rush shot, so that's not going to do any damage, but, but he's just... Knocking him, out of his, he's, he's knocking him out of the way. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. And I'm, I'm up again. Um, so, I'm gonna, so this isn't wouldn't really be a legal shot, but I'm gonna just going to push like that with my finger, with the front of my finger. It would normally have to be the back of it. Um, so that doesn't do any damage. Um, but now I'm going to use my shuriken on the, uh, the watch I'll, commander. I'll let you take... Uh, Health. Okay, and so I'm taking that now, and I'm going to power up uh, one of my assassin's cards. Um, it's actually technically over here. So it's this one. Okay. The net again. Yep. That's right, buddy boy. Um, so that did damage, though. Uh, um, so how am I going to handle that then? Uh, right, sure. which, 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 uh, which character was that? Assassin. Assassin. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'll let you, I'll let you take it. Okay. You take it. That's fine. Because if I'd used the armor, I could have technically blocked the... I blocked the shot. We want to sort of show people how but it's, it works. But the so. net still stays on. The yeah. It's blocking the damage. That's yeah. right. We block the damage. That's right. Yeah. Um, so now... Bank this around here. So that didn't work. And I'll just move her down there. That's my last action. So they're all going to reset now. We've got one more, right? Watch Commander has to go. So these ability cards give you new options once you... Yeah, like th these ones, are bit, they're starting to power up now as we're, as we're hitting. Okay, so he hit me. He didn't use his uh, melee shield. He used his, uh, used his missile shot missile instead. Shot. Okay. And um, uh, in the interest of, of time, I'm going to give that to you as well. So that's because it's a missile shot. It's power transfer. So now he's got this powered up. Okay. okay. So what's the difference between a power and a health transfer? Uh, the health transfer allows transfers you to my health pool. Okay. allows Power you to turn to the, uh, the token over and add it to you okay. your opponent's health pool. Yeah. So when do you get a choice and when do you it, when do you not get a choice? The, the, the different shots that are in the game, there's only a handful of them, okay. determine which type of transfers you can do. Yeah, okay. like for example the claw, I can I can do a health transfer. Bite, you can do a health transfer. Okay. But only certain ones work. Okay. So just some of them say... Yeah, some of them are just... It's, most of the shots are, are Does it say it on the card where the power shot transfers. is? Power transfers. 
Does the card say if it's a power transfer or a health transfer? It was says in the in the rules. It was. Oh, in the rules. It, okay. There's there's a reference sheet on the yeah. back, but you quickly remember. Yeah. Which most ones most people it. get a power transfer, and very rarely do you get health. Okay. That's yeah. why the health ones are really good. Yeah, it's very very infrequent that you would get the. Uh, see, here we go. See, the so claw gives you a, a lot of options. See. Yeah. So you get the little. That's why we set the we set the the um, the robot to have he has to shoot the claw first, then move, as okay. opposed to move then shoot. So he can't line a shot up. Yeah. He, has to, he has to shoot from quite a distance. Yeah. Usually. Yeah, but my brother's very good at that. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're all good. Okay, so we're resetting. I'm flipping all my cards over, um, and now we actually have some. Uh, cards that have actually been charged up here, uh, so we can show that. But technically, the assassin doesn't flip until, you're, until he's loosed, right? But still uh, him, but. Actually, he's. Well, I think what we finally settled on was the fact that he does flip over, but he can't be used, but he can't be used until he's been rescued. That's correct. Okay. Um, so I can't actually activate. Uh, I, I can't activate his attacks until I've freed so, him. So what are these icons here? The little people and the little. Yeah, so the way this works is is that this is kind of like from Lord of the Rings when um, Boromir blows the Horn of Gondor. Okay. So when you when you use a, a horn-based team action, the uh, hero that is activating... Yeah, that's good, yeah. So the hero horn. that's activating the ability, his two teammates must execute this particular shot sequence. So you get to do it with the other two teammates. With the other two. Uh, on the other hand... With this one, for example, that has the team icon on it, all three of them, of those the, of the heroes on that team, okay. get to go. And what's beneficial about this is that they can go even when they've taken an action. Okay. So when they go to participate in a team action, they're all taking a turn. Awesome. So that's how, towards the end of the game, you start getting so these team a lot of actions, and that's why you don't want to use your armor. Right off the bat, you that, want to save it. That's right, because okay. you're going to be having. Later on, late game, you're going to have a problem. Right, and we're already in mid game already here at this point. Yeah. So no, it's, we're it's in end game. What's that? No, we're in end game. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to probably just trash me pretty soon. Exactly, <laughs> that's is what's right. going to happen, right? <laughs> Are you charged up to do something? I'm charged up. You're pretty much dead in two turns. Go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's usually how it goes, right? <laughs> okay, so I, and I can't use my assassin at the moment, so I have to use my queen. So. I'm going to use the web shot now. Oh no. Missed. Oh no. Uh, my brother's really good at oh, flicking. And I'm on. not. So that was <laughs> that was her. Uh, she's done. Okay, you're up. I missed. Okay, so you notice with the missile. I can he, tap it without releasing it. You can tap it, it without. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm just. Now. Yeah, I'm, and so I'm. Uh, yeah, no, that was cheese, and I'm going to take that as an armor token. Thank you. No worries. Okay. So now. Um, so can you do damage rushing you two? If no. You to? no, no, no. The rush oh, shots don't ever do damage. No, but okay. Sometimes you can move the characters around. If I tap to melee, then I could do it, but it's risky. That's why okay. I'm using the small discs. Okay, so here we go against the Mage Princess. Nope. Nope. I only designed not, the game. Not, not, not today. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can free my assassin. Nope. nope. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm toast now. He's gonna finish me off. Okay. So I'm gonna do a melee shot. Okay. Uh. Yeah. And then. Um, well, I, I'll take I'll take that as armor, and that's. Oh no, his armor's sorry, his armor's gone. So that was melee. So it's power transfer. So take one of mine. Okay. Yeah. Just take it. Yep. yep power transfer. Okay, I'm surprised that you didn't use yeah, the watch. Yeah, I, I just didn't think about it at that point. It's okay. I'll stay okay. next turn. Okay, you're going to do it next turn. Okay. okay. So your watch commander's gone. So um, so I'm basically, that's the end of my turn because I can't, uh, my assassin's still trapped. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yep. Yeah, so, so go it's ahead. it's my turn now. Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, okay. assassin couldn't move. So couldn't I'm take going an action. to, uh, I'm going to use, so it's I'm going to use the horn now. Loose, yeah, I'm going to use loose yeah. arrows now. So well, how? Well, you said it's, it's, well, it's my. Well, no, but did but did all your guys reset? Oh, did I use my? Did I use Delilah yet? No, no, you haven't used you haven't used her yet. You oh, haven't okay. used your mage princess yet. Okay, so I can use a fireball on her because like the I can't use the net again; it's stuck. So right. I can use the fireball. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so that was actually technically not a legal move, but it's okay. Did you hit me? No. Okay. All right. All right. So now we reset. Yeah. Now we reset. Yeah. 
And uh, okay, so it's me to go now. And I've got three health, and I'm probably in trouble here at this point. Um, so I've got to free my assassin, so yep. I'm going to do that now. Mm -hmm. So which of you guys has armor left? Your robot doesn't have any armor, right? No. Okay. So I hit your okay. robot. So right. now I'm taking this health. health token, and yep. I'm flipping it over. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a health transfer. That yep. gets me four health back. Yep. Okay. And then I'm using my rush shot to knock the, the net off, yep. and that frees my assassin. Right. You're up. Okay, I'm going to use the Lila, and I'm going to put you back under the net. Okay, but that's not quite as effective because he's already taken his action anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. He's gone already for so this turn. it doesn't turn. matter. It doesn't matter as much, but no. it still sucks. Yeah, because it's going to force him to have to do something. That, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and he's Mr. Net, and that's, that's what it is with this game, right? Mr. Net. Um, okay, so it's my turn now, right? Yeah. All right, so... On, now, all right. So now I'm going to use one of my ability cards. I'm going to use this one. Is this it? is the assassin. Oh boy, here we go. This is the assassin doing it. Okay. So this is Hale Zogorth. So and technically, the robot can't do it though. So you've only got your Queen of Storms doing it. Uh, because he's under the net. So uh, yeah, that, 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 that's fine. We're not, we just want to show people how it works, right? So that's fine. Yeah, he can't do it. So that's a one-time use. Use yeah. that one token. Yeah, yeah use that one. Yeah, so you can, have, then I have to power it up yeah, again. Yeah, you spend up. the token. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta power it up again. But because he's under the net, he can't participate in group actions. That's right. Which is another reason why I put that guy in the net. <laughs> okay, so now I actually have to be somewhat serious about this to see if I can actually. Oh, oh. no! Oh man, not quite. Oh, not quite. quite. Is, not quite as my, right. My turn, because I'm gonna lose errors. Okay, so all right. Loose arrows. So let's, sh let's show the folks at home loose arrows. So probably one of the best cards in the game. All right, so, um, so everyone shoots, then yeah. moves, then shoots again. Yeah. Okay, so miss, move, and then shoot. So I hit you once with that guy. Okay. And then the, oh um, no! It's, oh, wait a second. No, it's it's not. It's a it's a horn. Yeah. So I can't move with this guy. Yeah, that's right. You can't okay. move with them. So this is negated. So forget that. It's okay. A horn. All right. It's so redo a, it not, again. It's not right. a group action. So it has to be Delilah who does it. So she does it, then she moves, then she does it. Yeah, and that's two points because the robot doesn't have any more armor tokens anyway. And then... So, he, wait a minute though, you gotta power it up though, Prag. Power what up? Power up your card. Yeah, I know, but it's, I get like one more guy to do it, right? Okay, yeah, but you gotta decide where it's gonna go, right? Aaron, because you're dead. I'm gonna do a, I, get a, I got another guy, I'm gonna hit you right now. Okay? <laughs> it's game's over, dude. Okay, okay? So I just wanted them to show it to see how that works, right? but you're dead, so... <laughs> You're toast. Well, wait a minute. No, because hold on. I can I could use armor technically okay, to block so you got one, one of those. Life left. Okay, yeah, I got one life okay, left. Okay, so right? you're gonna cling on. I'm gonna cling. No, of course I'm gonna do. That. Of course I have to. So what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do with those then, right? This one just gets discarded. Okay. All right. So all right, I got. Go, go ahead, Shushan. So I got one. Uh, one turn left. Yeah. One. One. One life left. Hanging on. To, to do five damage. Now. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's it's not, and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, and I'm. Yeah, technically though, I can't even go because my assassin is trapped. So no, your yeah. assassin's not trapped. Assassin's not trapped. Oh yeah, it isn't. It isn't. Okay, good, good. Okay. Assassin can go. All right. So, so technically, you can do your last, your last thing. So that gets rid of the net. Right. And then I can use the shuriken. And you miss. <laughs> well, it was a. Oh come it on. It was difficult. All right. So then I'm gonna. I'll use. It's my turn now. It's yeah. I do, use Delilah. I use target shots and all of them. It's like just group target shot. Yeah, group target shots. So, That's like, that. so we target. We get a target. We target the guy without armor. Yeah, let's target him. It doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> dead. 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 It, actually, technically, I can keep going. Yeah. yeah. So, first. bang, 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 bang. Catacombs and castles team mode over with my brother winning on the way over. He says, "Oh no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat you. I'm not gonna be in competitive mode. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna it? win." I wasn't competitive. <laughs> oh, that, 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 was, that was just flying casual there, Chewy. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> All right, so let's, let's sit down for back, sir. Okay. Sure. 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 Just flying casual, Chewy. Yeah. All right. So this was... This was the Kickstarter, right? Yeah. And this is getting delivered soon, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, for one, I heard it soon. I don't know what the uh, actual date. Yeah, right. we're we're booking uh, booking the containers right now. Okay, so so, so it's, it's on the ship. Or it's getting on the ship. To, yeah, to come back. Oh, exactly. Okay. We had uh, we had some challenges with a wood factory, and uh, okay. those have been solved. And um, yeah, folks will be able to uh, enjoy this 
um, at home really soon. That's Kickstarter backers, yeah. and then it's obviously going to be available at, uh, at retail. Awesome. So, and so, so what else is coming up from you guys? Do you have anything else in the pipeline uh, uh, after absolutely. this? Absolutely. Oh yeah, sure. Um, is another. Is that another Same style or, or something new? Um, it, well, we like to focus on our dexterity games. Okay. We also have some non-dexterity games uh, in development. All right. We have, for example, um, a, a card game okay. using the Catacombs theme All right. that uh, one of the original co-designers of Catacombs, the original edition, yeah. put together. Okay. And um, so that's Ryan Amos and... Uh, uh, and, and myself have worked on this game for a couple of years now. And okay. we, we, we like the way it plays, and it's got some innovative, um, card-driven mechanics. Okay. And we expect that. Uh, uh, so, so, so it's a card game. How does like what kind of style of card game? Like it's like a trick-taking game, trick -taking? but you okay. have but you have sort of a fuzzy knowledge of what the other people have. Okay. And so you have one player, it rotates, but one player is controlling a monster. It's called Catacombs Monster Pit at the moment. Okay. And. Um, and then the other players are attempting to defeat that monster by playing by playing cards, basically, okay. right? And um, defeating the monster is kind of like where right. the underlying trick-taking mechanic yeah. uh, happens. Okay. And where's the next dexterity game going? Uh, that is Catacombs Conquest. Okay. And that is set up in a way that we want to provide people with an introduction to our dexterity system okay. at a very affordable and compact price. Okay. So that's coming to Kickstarter later this month, in oh, July. Month? Awesome. Yes, that's right. We've been promoting it here at uh, Dice Tower Con. And um, uh, basically what you do in that, it's very uh, card driven, where again, I've got a hand of cards and I'm playing a card and that card dictates what my disc does uh, for that particular turn. Okay. So in this so game... kind of like these cards, but... Kind of, yeah. But you can a card... You can kind of think of it like that, in a sense. Okay. Yeah, you can think of it like that, actually. Okay. It's um, So for that particular turn, I'm playing, uh, say, the Assassin, for example. Yeah. And he does, say, XYZ shots. Yeah. And then I move on, and I play another card. Okay. But so you can be like, oh, this time when I shoot, it's going to be like the net. I'm going to capture someone. But yeah. Next just, time, yeah. it's, it's, gonna, the card sequence, it's just yeah. going to do a different type of damage or something like that. Yeah. The, all right. That's right. And... Uh, it includes the wall system, so it defines the perimeter, the play space. Okay. Okay. And um, it's it's team based again and supports up to four players. Okay. So you're always using the. So the what's the biggest this wall system goes up? Like, like what's this, the biggest game that one of your you have then? This is actually set up here with catacombs and castles. This is the biggest wall the biggest system. System. Okay. So this, this is the is biggest what, wall. Three by three ish. Something like that. Something yeah. Like that. yeah. I think this is about a three foot wide table. So that, that's right. <laughs> Good because actually we would like to offer um, larger. Um, or 24 by 24 neoprene mats. Okay. So um, for really, really sort of like deluxe kind of right, uh, awesome. uh, play style in a sense. Okay. Um, um, are you coming to any more cons the rest of the year or we, people can see this? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, we're coming uh, to Gen Con. All right, you guys going to be at Gen Con? We are. Um, we're um, members of uh, the good folks of IGA, right, so Indie Game Alliance. You're going to be part of the IGA? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. we're going to be with them. And also with our partners, Jasco Games. Okay. Uh, so we have like sort of presence at both of those booths. All right. And then um, we'll also uh, be at uh, PAX Unplugged. Awesome. So we'll, we'll actually be at both. Awesome. So. Oh, okay. We'll all right. Run into you then. Yeah. So there, if uh, you want us to come back on and talk yeah. about any of the other new things at, uh, at PAX Unplugged, we'd be very happy to to all do right. that. Awesome. So. Awesome. Thanks for showing off the game. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, Hopefully, I get to play it soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, we all would like to be able to play it soon, right? <laughs> Come check it out at uh, at Dice Tower Con. All we're right. really happy to be down here, and um, we've already given Tom Bassel a copy, so hopefully he gets a chance to play it and review it. Awesome. And share um, what he thinks about it with everyone. Yeah, thanks. All right. So this is Twist Gaming live from Dice Tower Con, and uh, thank you guys for Aaron and Ash for joining us, um, and we will be back shortly. Cheers. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. Thanks.